Sunday breakfast. Johnny Ianson. BBC Radio Leeds. So the yes-no vote wasn't the only big decision being made in Scotland on Thursday. The Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St Andrews finally voting to accept female members for the first time in its 260-year history. It's a very positive message for the game of golf. And um, the RNA in its position as the governing body for the game, I think it's quite right that this, the members have, have agreed to, to embrace this concept and welcome women members to the club. It's, uh, it's a great day for the game. Is it a club's choice, though, or an organisation's choice to let in who they want through the doors? There is a question about whether private members' clubs should be forced to embrace something they are perhaps reluctant to do. Writer Tom Stacey is a member of several gentlemen's clubs and thinks there is still a place for men-only organisations. It's a total part of the human instinct that men do congregate together in certain t- times and certain situations, and that's obviously what's clung on in the case of this particular golf club in, in, in the Royal Entrance. I mean, it's, it's a very natural development and the way life is. The polarity of the sexes is something that the sexes naturally wish to maintain. Tom Stacey there. Not sure whether he went to a state comp or not. Uh, Should golf clubs and other clubs follow suit and allow female members as the majority or should traditions live on? Uh, I'd really like your opinions on this one. 81333. Start your uh, your text with the word Leeds or at BBC Leeds on Twitter. Andrew Allenson from the Freedom Association joins us. Andrew, morning to you. Good morning, Johnny. So the Freedom Association, freedom to choose where you go and what you want to do or freedom to choose who you want through your doors? Well, I suppose it's both, isn't it, really? I mean, as far as a private members' club is concerned, they have a right to constitute themselves in a way that their members want to, as long as they're not breaking the law, and having male-only clubs is not breaking the law. Um, there it's are sexist, laws... though, isn't it? It's what, sorry? It's a bit sexist, though, isn't it? Well, not really, because you, um, you, you also have female-only clubs as well. Yeah, well, that, that could be constituted as sexist as well. No, if I, you're I, saying I... only one gender can come through the door, how is that not sexist? It's not sexist because it's it's the way that you want your club to be, um, and you just have a right to do that. I mean, as far as the Rolling Ancient is concerned, that is the home of golf. And if I had been a member of uh, of the Rolling Ancient, then I would have voted to allow women in on on Thursday because I think that's the right thing to do, uh, especially as women are allowed to, to to play on the course anyway and have them for many many years. But a private members' club still has a right to constitute itself in the way that it wants to, as long as it isn't breaking the law. What about if they said we didn't want any black golfers? That is different. Why? Um, it's it's different because that is racist and it's breaking the law. But why is it okay to be? Why is it okay to be sexist but not okay to be racist? It's not being sexist. How is uh, it being I, sexist? I, 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 don't I, I think that's a different. I, I think it's a different thing. It's, it's it's a case of a group of men wanting getting together and saying we want to to have to have a private club of our own where where we where we only allow male, male people in. That's the way that we want it. Women are allowed to do that for, um, for, for, for women-only clubs. But as soon as you start turning around and, and, and saying that you're not allowing people on because of the, because of the colour of their skin or their disability, that, that, is, that is taking it one step way too far, uh, and that is breaking the law, and, uh, and that's not allowed. But I don't understand. I, I'm really struggling to see the difference. What, how would it have been... Uh, how is it any different if you are still saying a certain gender can't come in here? How is that different to a certain colour of skin? Because if you're saying if for, 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 for a colour of skin, you, you, are, you are sort of discriminating against them. Um, but, but you're discriminating you know, against a gender, because, aren't you? Here? But you're not discriminating against a gender, uh, against a gender because it's, 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 it's a group of men saying, we would, like, um, we would like a club of our own. It's a group of women saying, we would like a club of our own. We feel more comfortable with, uh, with, with people around us uh, uh, of, of our own sex. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm really struggling with this, Andrew. I just don't see what the difference is in saying, uh, if you're a group of white men saying we don't want a group of black men in here, we're a group of men saying we don't want a group of women in here, you're still discriminating against a certain group, aren't you, on the basis that they are different to you? Well, I, I personally feel that, that if, if, if a private members club says we want to be, we want to be male only, if a, if a, if a group of women say that they want to be, to, to be female only, I, I don't have a problem. What women-only groups are there? There are some women-only clubs in uh, in London, uh, actual clubs that you, as, as, as we would know them, uh, where the where women can go in there, socialise together. Uh, there are rooms there. 
and, uh, and and they can stay overnight, uh, and they are female only. I guess uh, the slight reasons. difference. I guess the slight difference is women have faced gender inequality since day one, haven't they? They have been discriminated against and seen as second class citizens from the very start. So they have more of a right to try and congregate to reinforce their own power rather than a group of men saying, "We want the women out." Well, that's a case of uh, that they have more of a right, but but they do have a right. Uh, there are other, other groups like the Women's Institute, um, for example, where, where women can only be members. I mean, I know that may sound obvious, being the Women's Institute, and men can do certain courses, Women's Institute courses, but, uh, but, but men are not allowed to be a member of the Women's Institute, and I don't see anybody jumping up and down and saying that's sexist. No, but I, I guess that the difference, is, as I say, bringing back to the point, is that women have faced oppression from the first day, haven't they? Men haven't. I think that's taking it a little bit too far. Uh, oppression. Uh, but there has been inequality in the sexes, but I don't think it's a case of, face, uh, of facing oppression. You don't think uh, women have I, faced oppression in the past? Well, well in the past, yes. But, I mean, I, I, I think when it, when it comes to 21st century Britain, where, where we have all the equality laws at the moment, uh, the, the law still says that women can have women-only clubs and men can have men-only clubs. I guess the, 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 the difficult position that you find yourself in, as we said at the start, Andrew, is that the Freedom Association would advocate groups to choose who they want to let through the door, within reason, but also would you advocate anybody having the right to access what is fair and equal to everybody else? Well, that, that, that's the difficulty, isn't it? Um, I, I mean, I mean <laughs> private members' clubs have a right to, to let through the doors, you say, um, uh, who, who, who they want, but of course, yes, we do want um, a, a, fair, a fair and equal society. Um, I mean, my, as I said at the beginning, my personal opinion would be, if, if I'd been a member of, of the Royal Ancient St Andrews, that I would have voted to allow women in. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't have had a problem with that. Uh, but I, and that is my personal opinion. Of course, there are those, though, who would... I guess, take a sexist viewpoint just because they don't want to be integrated with women or they don't see women as, as equal. And, and that is the difficulty when you allow groups to choose is, is, is where, do it, where does it become just a freedom of choice and where is it then reinforcing unfairness? Yes, I do see, I do see your point on that because uh, p- people have various motives for, 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 for voting and, and, and behaving in, in a way that they do. So I, 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 I do see your point on that. Do you play golf, Andrew? I don't actually know. No, I always think it's, uh, you know, sports are good walkers, they say. It's not one of my favourite games. I agree with you on that. It's the most frustrating thing in the world. I love the concept of it. When it comes to the actual reality of playing it, then all the fun falls out the window for me. Uh, same here, yeah. I'm absolutely hopeless at it. <laughs> Listen, Andrew, thanks for sharing some time with us this morning. Yeah, Appreciate you. that on a Sunday. Take care. Uh, Andrew Allison there from the Freedom Association. And I think, you know, it, it is an interesting debate, isn't it? And I get what Andrew's saying. I honestly do. Uh, because it is the right of certain people to choose to a certain extent, but then when does that become reinforcing inequalities? I'm really interested to hear your perspective on this one. 81333, start your text with the word Leeds, at BBC Leeds on Twitter, or 0845 303 333. What do you make of what you've just heard right now?